Is it possible to know what's in a person's mind when that person kills someone? During trial, a jury answers that question of intent by applying the law to the evidence. But judges are gatekeepers of evidence with wide discretion to decide what the jury will and won't see and hear. Judges also tell the jury how to apply the law to the facts, but a mistake in jury instructions could ultimately result in verdict reversal. United States v. McRae explores the proper application of Federal Rule of Evidence 403 and the question of how to instruct a jury faced with determining accident versus intent. Stephen McRae told several witnesses on numerous occasions that he was going to kill his wife Nancy. Then one day he did. After agreeing to move out of their family home and then changing his mind, McRae came home, put the kids in the bathroom, retrieved ammunition from his bedroom, loaded and chambered his hunting rifle, and shot Nancy in the head while she sat in their living room. She died instantly. At his trial, McRae claimed he didn't intend to shoot Nancy and that the gun fired accidentally. The district court allowed the prosecution to show the jury pictures of Nancy's dead body with a gaping bloody hole in her head from the rifle blast. And before the jury went into deliberation, the court instructed the jury members that if they determined McRae shot the gun, and there were no facts to explain or mitigate his use of the gun, they had the option to find that McRae acted with malice or intent. The jury convicted McRae of second-degree murder. McRae appealed to the Fifth Circuit.